Today's topic is how to fuel for your long run. Not fuel during, but before. I think the obvious answer is you need to eat a lot of carbs. Now, there's two points I want to cover. One, timing. Two, quantity. So one, I'm in the middle of a little uh, 15 mile long run right now. So yesterday we were in Hong Kong carving up for the run today. Uh, there's two points I want to cover. First thing is timing. Start your carving up the day before, not the day of. You want to try and give yourself about 24 hours between your big carb heavy meal and your workout. The reason is it just takes a while for your body to digest the carbs, but then process it, convert it to glycogen, and then store it in your muscles and in your liver. So if you eat too close to the workout, like time-wise, you may not have as much available energy ready to go. That can be bad news bears because you might actually might be at risk for running out of muscle glycogen, liver glycogen, in the middle of your long run, which totally sucks. You french fry when you pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. Do not recommend it. Especially once you start creeping up in distance. If you're doing 15, 20 mile, more than 20 mile long runs, running out of carbohydrate, running on empty, hitting the wall, Totally sucks. So, first point, give yourself enough time to digest the carbs. A day, 24 hours should be plenty. Second point is the quantity. So if you're carving up for a race, for a marathon, typically they say 10 grams of carbohydrate per kilogram of your body weight. I'm 160 pounds, it's like 72 kilos, so 70 kg, multiply that by 10. That's 700 grams of carbohydrate. One gram of carbohydrate is four calories. So it's like 2,800 calories in carbohydrate, which is a ton of carbs to eat like the day before. And you don't have to do that. That's not entirely necessary. Shoot for that number, but take with something like seven to 10 grams per kilogram of body weight is, is totally fine. Anything more than that is great. Anything more than seven grams per kilogram of body weight it's great, but what'll happen is, is you're gonna store more water along with those carbs. For example, today's, today's my long run. I'm doing about 15. I didn't run yesterday, I just ate a bunch. And so in the beginning of the run, I feel kind of kind of heavy, kind of bloated in a way. Basically like waterlogged. So I'm sure you guys have felt like that before. If you take a day or two off, or you take it really easy and you eat a ton of carbs the day before, a ton of food, you start your runs feeling kind of blah. Just think about that. You don't need to eat more than you really need to. Hopefully your, your long run isn't marathon intensity. So just something to keep in mind, more is not always better. Carbohydrate sources, those are all the ones that come to mind like bread and rice and pasta and stuff. But ones that people don't think about sometimes are fruit, fruit are pure carbohydrate, vegetables, pure carbohydrate. So your calories, your carbs, do not have to come from bread and pasta and rice and stuff. Quick fun fact, did you know that rice might be a little better for your carving up uh, practicing versus pasta because pasta has about eight to nine grams of protein per serving, whereas rice does not, has like one or two. Let's say you have a thousand calories to spend on carving up. You wanna try and use all of those calories just on carbohydrates. Pasta has an addition of protein which you don't need. Rice just has carbs. <laughs> Just finishing up the long run, got a few more miles to go, then I'll have done 16. Super glad I carved up yesterday. Okay, so to summarize, first thing, eat your carbs about 24 hours before your workout. The second point, try to eat between seven and 10 grams of carbohydrate per kilogram of body weight. And the third thing, if you're carving up, maybe rice might be a better selection than pasta, but it's up to you. Okay, that's it for the first episode. I will see you guys tomorrow.